Hey guys, it's PJ. Um, we're here on a geothermal at a church. Um, here's your coil. A little bit frozen up. There's a water source geothermal. And up in here we got a compressor, accumulator. And back in there is, you can see it or not, that right there is the heat exchanger, the water to refrigerant heat exchanger. Uh, it's a tight spot in here, sorry. Your water in and out. Um, my first thought was the blower went out and the unit kept running, but the blower works fine. There's the ice that came off just by uh, taking the door off. <laughs> so, what we're going to do, we're going to just get the fan running on this guy and come back after a while. Um, here's all the air on a well. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's uh, six expansion tanks. Um, to run the geothermals that are in here. I think there are eight five ton units that run this, and then plus a couple split systems. Um, all the geos that they have now are getting some age on them, and we've slowly replaced some of them. And let's see what we got here. This is what's in here now. Uh, Climate Master. Yeah, these are from 1992, 5-ton, um, with electric kit, electric strip backup. So, they do a pretty good job, but all these have been starting to have problems, and so we've been slowly replacing them, but... And this coil, this thing usually sits, I think it's about right here, all the way down, so... There's a good six inches, eight inches of ice on that thing, so. So, let's get this fan going. And see if I can't thaw this guy out. And come back for more fun. Find out what happened. I don't know if we're going to find a um, an airflow issue or... Um, refrigerant issue, I'm not sure. Or it could be a water issue too with these. Um, I don't know if you guys work on these very much, but um, they uh, if you get a water flow issue, then um, <clears throat> you can freeze them up like that too. So, um, Basically, on a water source geo, you're on your in your condensing part. That is the well, the heat exchanger I showed you. That is your condensing coil. So that in cooling is what takes the heat, puts it into the water, and takes it back out and dumps it. Um, and then in heating mode, uh, you're taking heat out of the water. And putting it into the refrigerant, and that's where you're getting your heating from. So, in cooling mode, from your water in, your water in here has always been about 54 degrees, and then our water out is usually usually see about a 10 to 15 degree rise on these. So, um, when I come back, maybe we can go through these a little bit more, and I get some video of it. So, I thought that was quite a bit of ice, so I thought I'd share it with you. Have a good day.